Hey everybody, this is Chronic Hands here, and today I'll be bringing a tutorial on how to use, install, and download uh, Cam Studio. Uh, primarily, what it is is a screen recording program. Uh, it's completely free, uh, it's very easy to use, and you can get HD quality screen records off it. So, um, the first step you want to do is open up your uh, web browser. For me, it's Google Chrome. So, yeah, just open it up like that uh, into Google. Type in Cam Studio. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then uh, you come here, click on the first one, camstudio.org, as it is there, or you could just type that in at the start. Um, and you want to scroll down until you find a part here. Um, it's the download links. Uh, yeah, you can read about it if you want first, but uh, I find just go straight to the download. Um, uh, yeah, there's some other things here that you could download, but um, this is the program here, camstudio20.exe. Click on that. Um, if you're on Vista, it will come up with something like this. And um, yeah, just download it. Uh, then once you've downloaded it, open it. And. Um, it will come up something like this if you're on Vista. Uh, just do what you need to do, really, but allow the thing to open. Um, it's basically the download thing. You can. All, it will also come up in your uh, downloads folder if you've got that. So um, if you want to open it by folder, there it is. Um, agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, yep. Save it in your program files on the C drive, and start the download. Uh, it's very quick download it just basically extracts all of the files into a um, folder where um, you have all the things really and uh, once it's done press OK OK again and it should open automatically in wherever the folder is uh, it should be really in your program files and um, wherever it is um, it will create a Cam Studio thing it will come up with things like this. If you're on Windows XP, I think it's slightly different. There's a lot of other things that comes up too. But uh, the one you really need is this Cam Studio. It's uh, the actual program file. Uh, movie Player is to see your recordings after you recorded them. So I'll keep those. Um, you don't really need to get rid of any of them. But the one you really need is Cam Studio. If you're short on memory, then you can delete them, I guess. But I doubt you would. Um, Yeah, so uh, it opens up like this. I uh, don't quite know what happened there, and it's a, basically a little box here. Um, you can make it well, you can't make it any bigger than it is, but um, yeah, so that's basically what it is. It's a uh, small stream recording program that's very easy to use, and uh, uh, well, there's a rec uh, there's a record button. Uh, the pause button, the stop button, all your usual stuff, um, and then uh, some other buttons here if you want to record it um, to a flash or an AVI file, which I guess you could do, but I don't really recommend to be honest because AVI files tend to be pretty big. Um, this one here is for screen annotations, and this is for toggle view, so you can zoom the view and stuff like that. Uh, you've also got it up here record, stop, pause. Uh, region, um, this is basically what you're going to record. Uh, region, if you want to do that, um, I'll just show you here. It will come up with a thing like this, and uh, basically, all you do is pull and however much you want to record, wherever you want to record it, is what you record. Um, yep, it will stop like that. Just uh, cancel that. Um, fixed region is uh, a preset, and full screen is basically full screen. Um, now this is the uh, very useful part. Um, options. Video options. You um, you get to choose basically how it records and what it does. Uh, now this is important, the quality. Um, if you want a high quality video, I'd suggest around 85 so it's not too laggy but it's very good quality. You can adjust this depending on what you're doing. Um, I usually like to have mine around um, 80 for uh, tutorials, maybe a bit less, so there's no lag. 
but uh, that's basically quality of your video and um, yeah you can adjust that you can save it as different things uh, yeah this is editable if you unclick this um, you can edit your keyframes and your uh, capture frames and your playback rate and uh, also your max um, frame rate and your frame per minute uh, I usually just leave it on auto adjust to be honest um, but yeah you can adjust that if you know what you're doing um, so you come under that cursor options this is also useful um, for tutorials I like to leave it on but um, if you're recording gameplay or uh, a montage or something like that you don't really want your cursor getting in the way so you can get rid of it you can press hide or show um, if you put show you can custom uh, customize it yep just about like that you can just play around with that if you want um, and you can use a cursor that you've downloaded um, already from your computer and you can also highlight it on the outside like usual um, but yeah you can just play around with that and see what works best for you really now um, you, audio you can record here um, uh, yeah I've been recording some gameplays recently for a uh, music video so I've had the recording off uh, audio off because um, it's basically yeah it's a music video so um, I wouldn't be needing the audio really uh, you can also record it from the microphone or um, your speakers. Uh, audio options, yeah, that's basically uh, a, your settings for your microphone and your um, speakers and um, whatever you want to do. Uh, auto pan, um, I'm not quite sure what this does, but because um, I've never really used it, I think with auto pan it's may just adjust your recordings um, slightly I'm not really sure what it does to be honest but you can play around with that if you want program options uh, these are pretty useful um, I have these on save settings uh, hide flashing uh, yeah if you I think you'd want to get rid of hide flashing to be honest during the recording um, sometimes you can get in the way uh, but it doesn't record it uh, it just shows you where you're actually recording. Can be useful, I guess, sometimes. Um, yeah, you can just adjust those um, how and wherever you want them. Um, yeah, that's the help button basically for troubleshooting. Um, record to flash. Yeah, they're basically your options that you can play around about. Keyboard shortcuts. Um, yeah, I have mine on default, but you can also play around with that depending on what works best for you, basically. It's all about customization, really, this program. Uh, very easy to use, and uh, good screen recordings. Um, screen annotations, video annotations. Uh, yeah, converts the AVI files to Flash. Yeah, you can play around with that. Um, that just shows you, you can adjust your um, how you see it's on the screen, and your help. That's your normal stuff, the FAQ, the website, donations, uh, the about section, yep. That's pretty much about it for uh, Camp Shooter. It's a um, pretty good file. And uh, I'll just show you what it looks like if you record something. Um, yep, so I was recording this. You record whatever you want, and then you uh, stop it. And uh, save it. I'm just going to save it here. And uh, the media player will come up eventually once it's saved, which I'm not sure why it's not doing. But yeah, the media player will come up eventually, and um, you can see your end product really. So that's about it for Cam Studio. Um, hope you enjoyed this video uh, tutorial. Uh, this has been brought to you by Chronic Cans, uh, or my name is Tim, I guess. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope this is useful, and um, hopefully more tutorials to come soon. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.